Hey, it's Mr. Pokemon123, and I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to um, make a object follow you, object to come near you, or something like that. For example, if you want, like, if you're making a zombie game or a first-person shooter and you want the enemy to come, I'm not going to be showing you how to make them attack yet or health or anything like that. I'm just going to be teaching you how to make them come to you. So, I already have our scripting we already did from the last lesson, which was to uh, be able to jump and uh, walk around. So, yeah, I already have that put in. So, if you didn't watch that video, go back and watch that and come back to this tutorial. So, we want to add a new object just because I think that if most of you that are watching this video are going to be trying to make a first person shooter or something. Um... I'm going to add one object which is going to be somewhere in here. Am I missing it? Tell me if I'm missing it. Okay, there we go. Um, we're going to grab the revolver and add it to the world. Now, we're going to get this revolver, bring it closer in. Now, turn it so that it's facing that way. You don't want to be facing yourself or else it's bad. You want it to face it that way. And I want to resize it because they do make it a little small and don't make it like this big like you're scoping in and then pull it so that it's like that hold on so it's like that so you're scoping in no you don't want that you want it to be about that's okay yeah that's okay so you just want it to be like that and then let's add some zombies. Zombies, typical, I mean, walk forward, you know, kind of spooky stuff. Kind of spooky. Um, so let's just add a random zombie just standing right there, just like facing at us, like coming to kill us. But, um, so we're done with that. So what you want to do is make another method by using the revolver, because you want the revolver to eventually go up to shoot at the guy so we're going to create new method and it's going to be called shooting so shooting a revolver you're going to have to put a moving block move up and put the amount to be 0.1 because this is going to be a very brief like very abruptly as you might say movement so you want to put as seen by as the camera and duration point point one in this case we're going to do point one because we want it to be as fast because you don't want it to be going up and then and then like go up really fast and come back down you want it to be kind of a slow movement so we're just going to copy that over and put it to be down so once we have that we are going to make this properties vehicle to the camera because you want it to move around with the camera so now we have that we have to create a new event so during so we'd have to put when the mouse is clicked on let's say zombies entire body um the revolver shooting so that the revolver is shooting, so that's why I called it a revol shooting, so it would be the revolver shooting. Um, so now that we play it, we can uh, go around, and when I click on it, it shoots. You see how it kind of goes all weird? It's like, it's like going upwards, downwards kind of thing. To fix that, you can just change. You can just uh, change this move to... Uh, to where is it where is it oh see it was one meter that's why you need point one we uh, forgot to do that so now let's play and then it should be when we click it it should be somewhat okay you can mess around with it to see um, what happens but this is so far what I have okay now we want to go to the zombie script stuff create a new event to where when when the um, world starts, as you might say, or the when let's the let the mouse move the camera 
or as you might say, but um I like to say when something is true just because it makes it so where whatever you do in here, if it becomes true, that's what happens. So when this statement is true, we're going to create another method for the zombie and name it movement. I don't know if I spelled that wrong. Blame me if I do. But zombie move forward. Um, let's see, forward one meter style roughly and seen by the camera duration is going to be about 0.25 seconds and it's going to do this by facing the camera and so when we do the zombies method movement when true when the when true method is going to be when it is within so when it is within a hundred meters of something so for all we're gonna do this all together and put this in and then within if the zombie is within threshold of is within threshold of one of ten meters let's say of camera it's going to move forward and you want it to face the camera so we're gonna go back to the method and let's see turn to face target which is going to be the camera so turn to face camera and all these stuff you don't really have to do just leave it to what it was so duration probably is good all of stuff's good so when we play it the zombie you see it's not moving it's moving backwards it's because when you put forward it also it means backwards I mean it's it's kind of backwards that way. I wanted I'm I was trying to teach all that by showing you what it was when we would do that. So when you put backwards now to face camera and put one meter, you also want to put to do together all of this because it's another statement. So put this into all do all together. And I'm gonna just kind of make the duration point one seconds just because I feel like that's too slow so now a zombie when you get in within 10 feet of the zombie it starts to attack you and you can just shoot at it nothing's gonna happen but that's how you make it to where it'll come but when you get too far away from it it'll stop so let's say we want it to where when it gets closer than that so let's do others and 50 press ok and Okay, so it's just gonna immediately come chase us, and we're gonna just run away, blah, 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 shoot, 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 yeah. So, stuff like that. And when we walk behind him, and we turn around to see what he's done, he's gonna be still facing the our way, because he's, we said to face the way of the camera. See? So, that's how you do it. This is Mr. Pac-Man123. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe for more videos. And, um, good luck programming.